What's up guys? Welcome back to a windy day here at Maple Motors. We're gonna be taking this 68 Chevelle on a test drive, pulling out any kind of flaws. So bear with me if the wind starts uh, messing up the audio. It is very strong. We got a 454 up under the hood here, power steering, no power brakes. It's actually really clean up under the hood. I like taking them down the road, pointing them out, any kind of flaws. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. We'll have 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com available of this ride. We also have shipping and financing available. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. We're getting ready to take off here, guys. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior. We're gonna be uh, play some bets here in a second. Do you think the horn works? Go ahead and start thinking about that. A little game we like to play on the channel. A little glue up there from the front windshield. You see down in the bottom, they resealed it. These edges here are kind of warped up. This one's pretty bad over here. Look how warped up it is. Across the dash, got the radio, got the B&M shifter. Um, I'm just gonna turn the key on because this car is loud. I wanna make sure you hear, you know, the radio if it works which it's not cutting on right now so i don't think it's going to be working the blower motor wow that switch is stiff none of these are moving that one is i can't get that one to move so i'm just going to go ahead and say the blower motor and the radio is not working um wipers they're coming on up we got them they're working now i just gotta get them cut off well come on let's try that What's up with the wiper switch, man? I done broke them. Make sure I'm not hitting the uh, sprayer. I'll tell you what, let's turn it. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's crazy. I need to call for help. Let's try that one. The wipers are definitely not going to cut off. And as soon as I killed the video, they cut off. So yeah, that switch is faulty. Careful with that. Looking around the interior. The carpet is not bad. A little red up here in the floorboard. The seats look pretty good. Your panels look good. Back seat looks great. Package tray, they wrapped it with carpet. Looks like it can be straightened out a little bit better. Headliner, mechanics headliner. It's sagging everywhere. You need a cover for your light. You can just see it kind of flopping. Same with the visors. Look at that fuzz. Woo! Let's go ahead and start her up. Let's start up good. Tax working. Show you the mileage. Hard to stand behind that in a 68 model. Definitely stopping to get fuel. It is on full right now, but I don't trust it. Gauges below the dash here. Looks like they're all working. I'm gonna try the radio one more time. Nothing. Lower motor has nothing. Okay, horn, not hooked up. Turn signals, both sides. Switch is a little faulty there, I guess. There it goes. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, getting ready to take off here. Go ahead, get my seatbelt on. They just got the seatbelt tied over here. That's on there, but just tied in a knot. <laughs> They're fairly new. Engine temperature is up to about 170. Uh, oil pressure is at 30. Go ahead and try reverse here. Looks like it's working. Get drive. Now anything I see I will let you know this is the first time I have personally driven this down the road. We do this with every test drive. Drum brakes on this definitely feel like drum brakes. Okay. Let's 
take off. Yeah, we'll wait. Let the cop go past. <laughs> Make sure we don't run out of fuel. Suspension on this one feels pretty smooth. Getting a few bumps in the road. Twenty dollars worth of fuel in this ride. Put the gas in in the back here. Hey, there goes one of our trucks. I told you uh, before, twenty percent of the inventory sells before we can list it. Yeah, that's one of them. Looking around on the inside here. It's maybe the windiest day of the year. It is very strong. 70 degrees here in February. Turn the key on. That gas gauge is wrong because I got $20 in here with no issues.
far so good oil pressure is a little bit low it's around 15 you can rev it up it'll jump up to 50. the uh water temperature is at 190 i've been sitting here talking i had two or three people pull up wanting to talk about this car i was like well maybe i'll sell it before i put the video out all right so let's keep rolling here still got a pop to the car up there there She just wants to eat tires. <laughs> Let's try to clear this carburetor up. I'm pretty sure that's the issue on it, where it's got that pop to it. The ethanol is just not good for them. It's really running and driving good. It's nice and smooth. like 50 miles on this car trying to clear that up. <laughs> and that's not me getting on it. That was just me filling out the throttle. That's probably a quarter throttle there. That's quarter throttle. She feels good, she's strong. You can imagine if that carburetor was cleaned up, I bet it would really rock the tires. The best thing is just how smooth it is, how smooth the steering is, suspension, it's just comfortable. I'm right around the corner from the lot now. Sauce it. <laughs> I like that tag. Let's get up here and see. See what Jody's doing. She eats up the road, that's for sure.
Okay, guys, we have made it back to the car lot. Be sure to stick around for picking out the flaws. That's part of the video where I uh, walk around the outside of this, look for chip scratches, rust, dents, whatever it is, Bondo. If it's there, I'll let you know. Uh, zoom in on it, fill the screen up. We're not here to hide anything. We have 100 detailed pictures we provide along with every car on the lot. And we're a family business, almost 40 years. I do appreciate you watching. I'll be back in just a moment. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's get started here. Picking out chips, scratches, flaws, rust, whatever there is, I'll let you know. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I better cut the headlights off. There we are. Good deal. I'm gonna go down the lower portion first. So let's get started. Right here, around the front here, you've got some scarring, a little thin on the paint. Front bumper, it's not perfect. It's got chips, it's got a little bit of pitting, light scratches front end there not too bad sorry again about the wind this is a very windy video probably the last one that I'll do today because of the wind coming down this lower portion tires on this one look great set of Craigers but no down this lower portion you got a light crack right here you got some rust down in the corner of the door you got a few chips here and there see they're kind of poking out a little rust in this corner as well spot there up and over bubbles popping up we got some bubbles in the back here also in the very back you can see some below that black coming back to mid section paint's popping see the big cracks you also got some up here. Right here, big chunk. Door handles on this one, got some pitting. They're not perfect. Light chips on the inside of the jam. A little bit of pitting on your chrome. Scratch up here on top. Chips here and there. Chips there. Also here. Little bubbles on the paint. Just bad prep from what I can see. You got some chips there on the edge. Front windshield on this one's got light scratches. These are fairly new windshield wipers. It wasn't because they got stuck on. <laughs> Pillar here. It's pretty good. Just a little overspray in that corner there. This needs to be replaced. The seal there on that vent window's gone. Windows themselves don't look too bad. The tent back here sucks. It's real foggy looking. It needs to be stripped off. You don't really need tent on a classic anyways. But that's a matter of opinion, right? It's got some chips here. Cracks around this back trim. Some up here as well. And on the top here. See how hazy it is in the back window? It's like you can see the glue. Cracks down there around the trim. On well, the back bumper, it's got pitting on it. It's not that great. You need to be cleaned up. You're missing chrome down here at the bottom. Tail lights have some cracks in them. The trim around them got pitting. Same with this side. Fuel exhaust. Seal around the trunk. It's soft, it looks good. It's not bad at all. Oh, that's nice and clean. Spot there. Rust, 
and some. That loop looks good though. Looking down in here, you've got a lot of little bubbles popping up. You can see the rust trying to form all in that area there. For water set down, moisture got it. Looks like a little patch here and here. Up in your package tray. Looks like you got an amplifier here. Street Edge. Trunk lid itself. Put on down with a trunk lid. Ooh. Our antenna's in the way. Push it out of the way there. Shut it firm to get it to close. Around your lock there, you got a lot of paint chips. Spot there. A little rust bubble popping up here. Chips on the back. A little rust popping up around your trim there. See a hole here. Let's go down this side, lower portion first. Looks pretty good in this back corner. Up and over. Little bubble here. Real small. Scuffs right in the middle here. I haven't made it to the midsection yet, but they were right there. Got some rust bubbles here on the bottom. Edge of the door. Little bubble there. Couple chips chip there here couple right here some up on the edge is what we started with crack right here in the paint There's a chip right here. Scratch. Chip on the edge of the door there. Two little scuffs. Spot right here. Right there's a little spot, a little scratch. Around that window, some blemishes. Back window, like I said, see the sticker or the tent that's on it? It looks like glue. Pitting on your door handle. Top of that door there needs to be buttoned up closer. Mirror looks pretty good. This is gone just like the other side. Little chip here. And the edge here too. From the hood coming down, light scratches on your windshield. The roof looks pretty good. All right, let's check out the inside, get her started up, listen to that motor. A few little holes in the door where the lock's supposed to be. Got some tape on it. This right here is kind of hanging off too. Door panel itself actually doesn't look bad. It's in fairly good shape. Weather stripping's good. Bottom of the door is a little hole there. Looking in the jams. 
carpet in this one's decent. Chips here and there. Back seat is pretty good. As you see the package tray back here needs to be tucked in. The headliner needs to be tightened up or redone. It's all there. I don't see holes, but it's sagging everywhere. Running and driving wise, this car is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and start her up. Old pressure's right around 20, a bit low there. Jumps up to 45. Engine temperature on this one's been good this whole time. It's not too bad at all. Let's jump out of here and check on this. Lifter tapping on this side. Probably hooked the horn up. <laughs> an insulation well, let's shut the hood down here and see how it lines up looking around the edge of the hood got a lot of paint cracking piece of bondo off on the edge of the hood here See it on this side too. Pull the trim back up on there. Got a nice crease here. Went on down with it. Yeah, it locks pretty easy. Like I said, right there on the nose. A lot of cracks, paint issues, paint run. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. Keeps me doing these videos for you. I'll try to pick out all the flaws on all the cars that we get in. Every Monday, we update with 10 new cars. That's at maplemotors.com. Check our financing and shipping options out. 100 detailed pictures of every ride. Also, if you want some gear, check below. Pick some up. I got a description below showing all the gear that we use to make this video here and uh, clothing that we've been coming out with. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.